the reason why you think you are the best fit to be the first Inspector General of Police. It is the first time that Kenya is conducting an open recruitment of police chiefs as stipulated in the Constitution as expected applicants from the force dominated the shortlist. The candidates interviewed on Monday all boasting years of service in senior ranks of the police service. A senior official with the Witness Protection Unit and former CID officer Peter Masharia Mwangi was the seventh candidate to face the Kavuludi-led commission. The panel sought to know how he would inject integrity into the police service. Then you have the nepotism, which is going to be there. Tribalism, corruption will also be from within and from without. Now, based on what I have just told you, can you break down your priorities? We do the suitability studies so that we, 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 we know um, who are these officers we are dealing with because we cannot uh, work, even begin the project of uh, ensuring that we have a new service if we do not have officers who can uh, be trusted. The Witness Protection Unit senior official was, however, at pains to explain and defend his leadership style following a complaint that he assaulted a magistrate while working in Garissa. You can see why he thinks that mm -hmm. uh, yes. it would be dangerous for you to be the Inspector General because he doesn't know how many other people mm. you will assault. Now that you are right at the top, mm. can you comment on that? On those ways? <laughs> I did not assault. Uh, a magistrate in Garissa. What I did was that uh, I removed a drunk magistrate from the police mess who was misbehaving. And uh, in the process of removing him, um, we had to use some violence. I am, do not regret about that incident. The introduction of performance contracts, promotions on merit, clear guidance on investigations and handling complaints are just some of the reforms Peter Masharia Mwangi listed as his priorities if appointed Kenya's first Inspector General. Uh, well, yeah, welcome, welcome. Police spokesman Eric Iraide, who is on record vouching that an Inspector General of Police must be a member of the force if envisaged reforms are to be implemented, was next to be interviewed. The police has been charged in the opinion of the public to have violated basic human rights. The police has been wanting in providing security for the people. And more importantly, you have been charged with relating what the police is doing to the public. The promise I have for this commission and for every Kenyan, wherever they are, is that this is time for change. We must entrench the rule of law. We must entrench accountability. We must be able to respect human rights and we must be able to make a clean break with impunity. Kiraide also had a go at defending his competence as the police force spokesman. The commission had received complaints that Kiraide used his office to defend perceived errant police officers. The complainant had accused Kiraide of defending an officer allegedly involved in extrajudicial killings in Kisumu. Filled in questions about some of the comments, Kiraide termed them as malicious statements saying he has acted above reproach in his service to the nation. Mr. Kiraide, we'll Kiraide strongly advocated for the improvement of the welfare of police officers and upgrading of police stations across the country. About one year, the men were brought back because what happened when they were sent to the field, they were supposed to register Kenyans. Mary Oyugi Kapol of the Interpol at CID headquarters was the last interviewee for the top police job. I'm a technical person. I'm, I'm, I know how to identify whom I'm giving the certificate of good conduct. I cannot go and stand before the court and say this is the person I gave the certificate of good conduct without knowing whom I gave. The panel will from Tuesday start interviews for the two positions of Deputy Inspector General of Police. Salim Bilu, Citizen Live at 9.